I'm going to lick it. Mm. Yeah. Very quickly then, before we get into this extremely satisfying video, just a slight request from you guys. As you can notice, we are painstakingly close to 50,000 subscribers and 75% of you that watch the channel regularly are not subscribed. Now, there's something in it for you because 50K is a little bit too close, but if we can get to 55,000 subscribers by my next upload, which will be Wednesday next week, then I will give one of you lucky people the keys to my now detailed Mercedes CLK 320 for a weekend of your choosing, and I will cover insurance and a full tank of fuel for you. Of course, you have to be in the UK for this, and logistically, with insurance and everything, it will have to work out. But if you subscribe and we get to 55K before Wednesday, then I will do that for one of you that comments and likes on this video. So there's a big challenge. We've got to get 5,000 odd subscribers in a few days. I think we're totally capable of doing it, and of course, you could be the lucky one, or not so lucky, I don't know, it depends whether you like this car or not, but you could be the lucky one that gets my CLK without me, you just have the car, you don't get me, you just get the car, you come and have it for a whole weekend of your choosing, and I'll cover the insurance, and I'll give you a full tank of fuel. Anyway, let's get into this deeply satisfying video. Well, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to the home of the most satisfying channel in the whole of YouTube. I'm here this morning at the iValet UK studio with my newly acquired 1,000 pound Mercedes. And you don't have to be a genius to work out what we're going to be doing to the car today. Now, the guys here at iValet UK are on the road to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you want hours of deeply satisfying cleaning content, go ahead and take a minute now and subscribe to their channel. Let's get them to 5,000 subs. As you all know, I picked up this 1999 Mercedes CLK 320 in Wales just a few weeks back for a thousand pounds, really as a matter of necessity. I didn't go out to buy one of these cars. I literally bought it to get myself and my girlfriend home from a trip in Wales where my Range Rover broke down. What a surprise. But anyway, it's in need of a bit of TLC and of course I had to bring it here because well, it's very dirty. The paint works, not great. The interior in particular is filthy. And the roof, that black roof, well, it's not black anymore. So today, hopefully, we're going to get this thing looking like it just came out of the showroom with the help from the guys here at iValet UK. So, of course, I have been here a couple of times before, actually. Firstly, with the BMW 7 Series. That had, like, the seats out and a full clean inside and a nice shine up on the outside and just looked fabulous. And the Range Rover, when I bought that, that came for basically the same sort of thing, which also still actually looks incredible. But today it's time for the Mercedes. So if you haven't seen one of these iValet videos before, I'm gonna introduce you guys now to Rob on camera, who's gonna talk you guys through a little bit about what we're going to be doing to the Mercedes today. Uh, hi, Joel's channel. This is not very pretty. The roof, certainly stands out as the main area of interest. It looks like somebody's perhaps planted something maybe 10 years ago and it's just kind of coming into fruition. A bit like the Bitcoin that you that you own as well. So yeah, it's, it's really mossy, algae, it's just disgusting. Uh, the paintwork is very, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really rough as well. So we'll get a clay bar on there, get that all sorted out. Interior wise, the seats are supposed to be cream, currently grey. So we'll give those a good seeing too. Steering wheel's filthy as you'd expect. These door cards have certainly seen better days. So it just needs a really good in-depth cleanup, which is what we're gonna provide for you. So as you can hear and see, the Mercedes is having all of the door shuts cleaned first, along with inside the boot, we've just done that, and we had the roof down, and did that little bit under where the roof goes, which has probably never been cleaned since this rolled out the factory. So all of those bits are getting done out the way, and then we're gonna give the car a full clean out here. And I'm so excited to see what this red paintwork looks like when it's shiny, because I just haven't seen it at all. 
Also, I know a lot of you from the last video with this car and the only video with this car hate this grill and I fully appreciate that. And so I have ordered the correct OEM grill for this car. I did plan on it having arrived by now so we could have got that cleaned with the car. However, it hasn't quite come yet. Along with that, I've ordered a Mercedes emblem to go here, which I hope will fit. And lastly, I know we're not a fan of these wheels. I believe they're probably from the later generation and the original wheels on this car were similar style but 17 inch with a bit of a deep dish effect. And so potentially, if I can find some, because I have had a look and there's not many on the market, I'd like to replace these wheels as well with the proper one. So fear not, I'm gonna try and return this to as OEM as possible. I'm not a massive fan of these wheels either, I have to agree. If I'm totally honest, I didn't notice the grill that it was different. Um, but now I've seen loads of your comments, I can see what you mean. And like I say, the original grill is on the way. So I'll fit that myself. Maybe you'll see it in this video, maybe you won't. So as you can see, we're having a go at the roof now with the drill brush. And if you look at the color of what's coming out of it, it's certainly not black, it's very much green. That just shows you how dirty and how bedded with moss and all sorts of other stuff this roof has become. Who knows when it was last cleaned? So all the sills and door shuts have been cleaned. Cars had a snow foam and a jet wash and now we're beginning to get it scrubbed. This bit hasn't been done yet, but we're starting to see that shiny, beautiful actually, paintwork coming through. Genuinely think this is gonna look really nice once it's done. Finally, the red calipers are actually gonna be matching again with the paintwork. And guys, look at the crazy difference on the roof now. This was all green, as you saw earlier on in the video. And actually, from my perspective, it looks like it's just had a new roof. Uh, it's come up so nicely. I shoot myself in the foot though, really, because the plan with this car, well, there was no plan. It was to get me home from Wales back to London, which it did. But now it's getting all scrubbed up and it's gonna look nice. It's gonna feel nice to drive because it's gonna be all clean and smell good in the interior. Am I actually gonna sell it? I don't know. I sort of feel like I don't want to. What do you think I should do with the Mercedes? Should I keep it or should I sell it? And if I do keep it, what should I do with it? Right, so this is the fun bit. The car is in the iValet studio looking nice and fresh on the outside from the clean it just had. And then the fun bit, as I say, is gonna be cleaning up the inside of the car, which is absolutely filthy. I was saying to the guys here, I haven't touched this since I picked it up. So all of those bits we talked about, especially the glasses, the lavatory glasses, they're all still in there. So everything is basically just being left as I found it. And so you can see now as the seats have been moved forward, all of the dirt and stuff that's built up in the back there. And of course, the condition of the leather itself is, well, very poor. Even things like this central console, I don't know how well you'll pick it up in here, but filthy, especially over on this side, on the driver's side. That steering wheel, of course, is also filthy. But now we're inside under some lighting. Look at that black roof, guys. 
that has actually come up so nicely. It's properly smooth, still wet, of course, but all around here where there was algae and moss and all sorts of, well, rubbish, it's looking, I mean, really, really good. It's actually in very nice condition, this roof. Starting to expose some of the blemishes and bad paintwork here where it's lack has peeled away, uh, which obviously we can't really sort today. But as a whole, the paintwork's looking really fresh, actually, really nice. I realized I didn't show uh, any of you in the first video that the roof actually works. Lots of you were asking. This roof does work fine. So you have to push this in. I think there should be a button there. And then twist this way. That's it. All the windows then open. And I think you then just pull this one back and it does its magic. There you go, if you hold that, Sam, I'll film it from the outside. Oh, and then you have to push it when it's at this moment. So you have to go like that and then it should just do the rest. If you hold the button, there we go. That's not because it's broken, that's actually a feature. Uh, oh, I, see, I see you found the goggles. <laughs> Safety first. And there we go. Does look nice with the roof off actually, I have to say. Quite impressive looking car for the age. Does look very good. update then. Carpets have been scrubbed and they're actually really nice plush carpets and the leather on the seats as you can see well this one hasn't been looked at really yet and you can see how grubby it still is however on this side on the passenger side I mean through the lens that looks absolutely superb it looks brand new and this is the coolest thing can you see it the armrest in the middle we've put some tape across here to show the difference between clean, obviously, and dirty. This is how it was when I brought the car here and it's been scrubbed, treated, and whatever else they've done to it. And you can see the difference between that and that. Now, if that's the difference with the whole car once it's done, this thing is gonna look superb. And I mean, you can see the same sort of difference from this passenger seat and then that seat. The, the, the color difference is insane, actually. Dashboard's been scrubbed nicely as well and is looking really fresh inside here all cleaned on the plastics beautiful absolutely beautiful job so far So roof is back up on the car and it's looking fantastic. Still can't get over how well that roof has come up. I mean, look at it from the back. It looks brand, brand new. And of course the paintwork looking fantastic as well. We're just doing a bit of machine polishing on the front now. You can actually see the difference from where it's been done there to there. That sort of matting effect and looks a bit grubby. Whereas now this is really bringing back the shine to that paintwork. Uh, yes, of course, there's some issues with the paintwork. There's some, some lack of peel there, which we can't really address today. Tiny bit of rust as well. And obviously there's this big sort of, well, it must have had a bump or something, which that's not rubber, but unfortunately that is big, deep cut. Also here, there's some big, deep scratches in the paintwork as well. So all in all, if we ignore those bits, the car is looking fantastic and it's about to look even better with that machine polish. Interior then, I mean, look at it. It looks like it's just out of the factory. The seats are restored to their original color. 
and I really, really like the color, especially the way it contrasts with the red paintwork. And to the front of the car, looking super clean too. This wheel, unfortunately, is slightly beyond repair. You can see literally all the way down uh, through the letter. It's basically all gone. So it's looking a lot better, but there's basically no texture left on this wheel, nothing left on it at all. But the bits that you can see that haven't been touched have come out really nicely. So this would need a retrim. Maybe I'll look at getting that done if I can find someone to do it. If there's anyone watching actually who would like to retrim or help me with this, I'd, uh, I'd love to hear from you. But yeah, a bit more work on the paintwork and then jobs are good. Beautiful. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me okay. One of the things that always gets missed on just cleaning cars in general is the exhaust tips, but it's actually such an easy thing uh, to do. So while they're just sort of doing a bit more machine polishing on the car, I thought I'd have a quick look myself. I'm just using a wet cloth to sort of rub off any dirt. And this might not be the conventional way of doing things, but it seems to work for me at least. And actually this looks pretty rusty, so I'm not sure how well this will work. We'll get some steel wool, which looks like this, and some metal polish, which looks like this. Lather that up. Don't need too much, but I always put loads on. And then just sort of coat it whilst polishing movement like this and just do that for a little bit and we'll see if this does anything and don't forget to do underneath as well i'll do that in a minute and of course the main bit really is the rim that goes around the outside so i'll move on to that bit in a second and as you can see this thing is not cleaning up very well but it will still be an improvement on what it was. Right, so the Mercedes is all done and they're just about to pull it out for me. And as you can see, the sun is just coming out. So now is an ample opportunity to get it out and actually see it in its, well, in, in natural daylight. Quite excited for this. Okay, so the car is all finished and it is looking spectacular, especially when the sun comes out, although it might not again while we're filming this little bit. But I thought I'd just show you around the car. We've had a look as it's been going, but now it is out in the natural light, it looks its best. So we have gone around the car, obviously given it a full wash. I say we, I've done absolutely nothing. I Valley have gone around the car, given it a full wash and done a machine polish on the thing, which the machine polish actually made a really big difference because now the paintwork, I'm going to lick it. Mm. and it actually tastes quite nice. Just do that there. Like that. The paintwork is super, super smooth. Of course, as you can see, there's a lot of bits here, scratches uh, all the way down there. Obviously curbs, alloys, and this big sort of bumper. I guess it's had a, a rear end of some kind, which we can't do much about without repainting or replacing parts. I mean, this potentially could be filled in. This will need a rear bumper. But then moving around, all inside under here, I see the roof's down at the moment, under here is all being cleaned, so that looks mint under there actually, and it was pretty clean anyway. And then my favorite part has to be this interior because it has, I think, come out very, very well. Considering this car's 21 years old, I mean, basically it really doesn't look it right now. The rear seats in particular, I guess they've probably not been sat in that much anyway, but they genuinely, genuinely look brand new. And I really want, do you know what? Yeah, I feel executive now. This looks great. And the carpets in the back all clean. They're actually really plush, these carpets, similar to the 7 Series in terms of thickness and the Range Rover for that matter. Um, 
But yeah, moving to the front, this was all so grubby here. Like this in particular looked amazing when we did that 50-50. You could see how dirty it was compared to now. The woods come out quite nicely. We're a little bit of a letdown, but to be expected, you can actually see the serial number on the wheel because it's literally worn down that far. So there's nothing left on the wheel. This will need a retrim. I'm probably gonna move this car on. I don't really know. I need to hear what you guys think. But if I don't, I'll definitely get that retrimmed because for a fairly, fairly uh, small price, it will make the biggest difference. Yeah, and door cards as well. I don't know if you saw at the start of the video, but I took some shots of this here. This was extremely grubby and again, looks factory fresh now. So extremely impressed with how this has come out. I think also, let's just have a quick look. We spent a little bit of time at the start of the day on or under the engine bay and it's done well from it because under here, you can see all the plastic parts, air filter covers and the rest of it, all looking great. And that mighty 3.2 litre V6 itself looking very clean and ready to be driven. So very, very impressed as always with the guys here. As I mentioned earlier on in the video, I have ordered uh, a grill, the OEM grill for this car, which I actually just got an alert saying that's arrived, along with the Mercedes plinth or emblem that I think, I'll have to check, I think I can fit to this car, I'm not too sure. So very, very happy indeed. Of course, iValet are fantastic at what they do, but they also make incredible YouTube videos with lots more satisfying content like this. So do go ahead and subscribe to their channel. I just need about a couple thousand of you of the 50,000 or so of you to go ahead and subscribe to them and they'll be on 5K, which will be amazing. And of course, they've made a video today on the Mercedes going into a little bit more depth in terms of the techniques and processes to get the car to where it is. So very, very happy indeed. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Give the video a like and make sure to comment on those things I asked about, whether I should keep the car or sell it and whatever else you want to know, really. I'm always happy to answer. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon.